you're going to die i mean we all are but now even the date as to when we are going to leave the earth is being predicted and that too because of ai i mean ai is everywhere ai 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 artificial intelligence is going to end humanity and now it's even predicting when we are all going to die meet death clock the app that uses your health data to predict your death date i mean all the plots of say a sci-fi movie or a black mirror episode are now coming true with over 1 lakh 25000 downloads since its launch this app has definitely caught the world's attention but before you jump on the bandwagon let's think for a minute is this really a good idea let's first tell you how does death clock work you as a user input your age sex bmi smoking habits country of residence and other details The app then uses a massive data set from over 1200 life expectancy studies involving 53 million people to calculate your death date. The problem it's based on averages guys, not your unique health history. Not only is it just a guess, it's a very uninformed one, a very uneducated one. But Death Clock isn't the only app offering health predictions. Apps like say Lumen which claim to calculate your metabolism based on your breathing they also offer personalized health advice but when users tested it the results were often inconsistent and downright confusing in some cases these apps promise accuracy but they can't be trusted when it comes to serious health decisions then of course there's the case of google gemini it was designed to track and predict mental health but many users experienced unnecessary anxiety after getting alarming results Some even reported panic attacks after interacting with the app. I mean the hallucinations were of that bad a level. The issue isn't just the bad advice guys, it's the mental toll that these tools take, triggering anxiety when they shouldn't at all. And here's where it gets even trickier. Data privacy. When you input sensitive information, say like your BMI, your smoking habits, your country of residence, where does that data go? Who's profiling from it? Apps like Death Clock for example, they may not be clear about what they want to do with that data leaving room for absolute misuse exploitation or even worse the data being sold to third parties imagine an insurance company using this kind of app to adjust your premiums based on a predicted death date could your insurance premiums go up because some ai said that you have a shorter life expectancy i mean sounds ridiculous right the much larger picture here is that ai in health is still in its very early stages i mean sure ai can track your steps suggest workouts give general health advice but predicting death or diagnosing conditions that's still way beyond capabilities of these tools guys health is personal complex it requires a professional's expertise not an algorithm so what should you take away from this use ai health tools with caution they are fun to explore but never ever replace a doctor or a professional's advice with an app ai can help improve your lifestyle but it's not at all ready to predict your death date adjust your insurance premiums or handle serious health issues choose your ai wisely protect your data and don't let it cause unnecessary stress in the end guys your health is way too important to be left on an algorithm at least not as of now so be smart be safe and keep your health in human hands preferably those of a professional do tell us in the comments how did you find this video and of course do not forget to follow a media house for more such content from the ai world across this is me korak i'll see you guys in the next one